show you guys. Um, so this is the Stanley uh, MR77 Riveter, and uh, show you some of the features. It has different Riveter nozzles depending on what size you want to use, and there's one uh, already in the head. <clears throat> I'm not a professional. I bought this tool because I had some uh, gutter issues that needed some riveting work, um, and I did a little bit of research, you know. <laughs> probably got lucky because this is a really really good gun there's a little wrench that comes with it if you need to take these heads off and do some work on it i'm making this video because i actually got one of the riveter pins stuck in here the stems i think that's what it's called and i couldn't get it out so i had to take this off to get it out and in taking it off i had no clue what was inside there's a bunch of parts in there and i didn't know how to put it back together so I went looking online for information, couldn't find any, so I just kind of figured it out myself, basically, uh, based on looking at maybe a few other riveting, riveter gun videos that were um, a little bit close to this one, so that helped me, and I wanted to make a video to show you guys how to fix this one. So, here we go. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to take the head of this apart and put it back together again in case you get a rivet stem stuck in here and you can't get it out any other way and you have to take this thing apart. Um, like I said uh, earlier, I did this, you know, several little pieces fell out and I wasn't quite sure about some of them. There was no video for it, so I thought I would make this little video. Alright, so what we're going to do first is we're going to take the wrench out here so here's the wrench that comes with it and we're going to use that wrench to take the head off of it or loosen it anyway you twist it out of there okay so after that we're going to flip it over squeeze down on the handle, take this, take this out. Now when I did this the first time, this is what happened. Some of these pieces fell on the, on the grass. So you got a spring right here. Um, you've got this little piece, I don't know what the technical name for it. And you've got these two little pieces right here. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to put this like this back on there. Now, of course, it seems obvious, right? I mean, to, to a lot of the experts are going to say, this ain't rocket science, boys. But for some of us, it is rocket science. I'm like a, maybe a three on a do-it-yourself scale. So, And some of it's obvious. But it's not just whether or not it's obvious, it's kind of how you're going to get it back in there, how you're going to get these pieces together and put it back in there. So what you're going to do is you're going to take these two little pieces right here, and you're going to stick them like this. You can see that the point goes down into the uh, head there. You're going to lay them, you're going to squeeze the handle in, you're going to lay them on their side this and you can use different things to push them in. I'm just going to use this little screwdriver here, this little uh, what, um, screwdriver I used to fix other things. And I'm going to push it in there like that. And then I'm going to take the other piece, this one, put it in there. Push it in. Now I'm going to take this. And screw it back in there. Let's back in there. And. back on. 
and that's pretty much it. So don't panic if you have to take this out and these little pieces fall out. Um, it's really not that complicated. It just kind of looks complicated, but it's not. So hopefully that helps some other people like myself that uh, needed a video and uh, there wasn't one available. All right, thanks guys.